being uh, Israeli. So that's a little bit anti-Semitic. Yeah, I mean, I would say, I mean, obviously Arabs are Semites and as well. So. And there, yeah, I mean, this yeah. has no relevancy again. Yeah. You've got a, 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 a cult. Pardon? You've got a death cult in Gaza. Uh, an offshoot of Islam that wants to kill all the Jews in the world. Then they'll start with this. I think that's a bit, when you say, I mean, you do know, obviously, you do know historically when the Jews were subjugated in Europe and they took refuge in Spain in particular under the Muslim rulership for several centuries and they thrived, essentially speaking. And when, when the Muslims. So they weren't allowed certain jobs? No, 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 that's unfair because those taxes, which is a common misnomer, See, the Muslims pay taxes themselves, which actually was more than the non-Muslims. Oh, the one yes. you're referring to is called We're the... About Ramadan. Uh, yes. Is that, so what the Muslims end up doing, so if you're under the Muslim Khalifa at that particular yeah. time, you, as Muslims, pay tax, but, you're but not as non-Muslims... protection if you're told you can't have certain jobs. No, no, that's not the case, because even... It was the case. I'll explain to you, even... Also, in several areas, uh, they were massacred. In several areas, they were forcibly converted. In several areas, they were thrown out. What, in the How Quran? many Jews are there in the rest of Arabia? I mean, it's quite, I mean, it's, you'd be surprised that there's a number in places like the, in, in Iraq, I Syria, think Morocco. At, at the decrease in Christians in those areas. Iraq, Morocco, Syria, there are a number of Jews still there. How about Egypt? What's the, what's the Christian population of Egypt? Ten percent of about, so it's about ten to twelve million, I think. It, it was, it's about one percent now. No, 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 it's ten percent. They killed thousands. Do you want me to show you? I can actually show you that ten percent of the Egyptians are Coptic Christians. No, they've been thrown out. They've been attacked. So that after, after the various uh, wars, the civil wars in, in Egypt, the police stopped protecting the Coptic. And thousands of them have been murdered. Well, Without any police intervention, how could they just Christians they're not? Really well, I mean, the Egyptians did the same thing with the Muslim Brotherhood as well. They eliminated them as well. So who they're working for, we don't know. Yeah, so just be, we have to be realistic. The good Muslim Brotherhood and the bad Muslim Brotherhood. So the Muslim Brotherhood that feeds people, this is one more. The Muslim Brotherhood that wants to kill everybody else. I don't think, I think, you know when you say... Support, and to support uh, terrorism. I don't no. think there's some... So, so, yeah. I mean, terror, let's, let's face... They gain political position by feeding people and trying to help them get jobs. By being good people, being good Christian people, in fact. And then when they've got their position, they turn it into terror. I think... You know, the, the world has given over and over and over again to the so-called displaced Palestinians. That money goes in, it's immediately stolen by Hamas. So Hamas has made about four billion since they tried to kill the Jews uh, in, in that party. Four billion has been given to help the people of Gaza and Hamas has stolen it. I know there, there is a huge amount of food aid goes in there. It's stolen by Hamas. I know there is some mismanagement, I agree with what you're saying. I know there's some mismanagement which take however I mean, I do know Benjamin, Benjamin Netanyahu did say, go back a number of years, that we need to finance and support Hamas to stop the Fatah and the other political parties in Gaza upholding their, uh, the community. So uh, this is available on YouTube. Benjamin Netanyahu has expressly stated that we need to finance and support Hamas. This is, he clearly explicitly says this. So obviously, I mean, let's face something. Let's, let's be brutally honest. Do, they, they, when, when these acts, when, when the seventh of October, you have a cult of a, a, a small cult of, of Muslims in Gaza who want to kill. No, I don't think that's. I think you know because in the, it's in the constitution. I don't think. So. When they Where, say can you they can you show? Peace, they want peace to withdraw and regroup and do it again. They said they that. won't be able to. And the reason for this, but they and won't be. They have the support of the entire. Okay, if that, if that is the concern of, of Jews in Israel, Israel is a nuclear state. No, none of those other... Exactly. If Israel really wanted to do a genocide on Gaza, they could have done it in a click of a finger. Click of a finger, I agree. However... What was genocidal was the Hamas attack on the Jews. Yeah, so we know there is a historical background to this. There are counter-narratives which are taking place that, you know, in Gaza there are natural gas reserves, oil reserves, which have now been found by... I know, but what, what we're saying is that when these events took place, there are counter-historic um, narratives which suggest that 
the Israeli authorities knew of this. They were doing incursions into Gaza, so that so the um, the Hamas they responded by sending ballistic. Can I just can I just make can I make my point? Arabic fiction. Well, it's not Arabic, it's independent it's attestations. It's Muslim fiction. It's Muslim support. Well, so how do we know then that the... For the, the, the dregs of people who are in Palestine, no other Arab country will accept because of the trouble. What? Well, I, I just... I mean, okay, so do you deny then, for example, what happened with the King David Hotel? When the um, Israeli initial, the, they were. No, but we got to look at things historically. But But when you are subjugating a people historically and you're curtailing their right to exist, supported by the law. Okay, I it's think it's a made up, a made up story by the the uh, a certain Muslim faction. I think that, that wants to destroy. Okay, Jews. did the King David hold to incident? Can I can ask you a question. Again, this is an did, but, but can I make the point at least? Yeah, did did, yes. did the King? Did the Israeli um, leaders? Didn't they instigate the bombing of the British officials at the King David Hotel in Jerusalem? But how is that relevant? Because they're the one. If they could, if they could, they were partying hippies, were they? In that building? Can I answer the question? I mean, just so. Who were they partying? No, hippies because the British, the British at that time had the had the mandate. So in order to perpetuate and to enforce that mandate, when they were realizing that the that the the, the, the British had already uh, to uh, played the Arabs around, and if they were going to try that with the um, Israelis as well. Then they were going to teach them a lesson. So, in order to get rid of them, they enacted the killing of British officials you know and the King David you know in the King David you Hotel. Know why they did that? Yes, I know perfectly why they did that. Because they wanted Britain out, so they could perpetuate their. No, no, because the British were stopping Jews going into Palestine. I think that's an unfair statement because no, by, no, by the British were stopping according to the mandate they had. There was a certain number could go into Palestine. When that was exceeded, the British were stopping them, and that was the cause of the argument between the Jewish side and the British side. Yeah, but what, what I'm saying you to know you, that, don't you, no, what I'm saying, okay. my, my understanding, so an Winston Churchill, Winston Churchill, between the Jewish people wanting to set up their, their homeland, which they've yeah. been praying for for three thousand years. But that's and, based on the and, assumption and that it's their land. The, the administration of but that's the based upon the assumption, biblical assumption, that the land of Israel belongs to the uh, state or, or children, of, or the land of Palestine rather belongs to the children of Israel. But we've just accepted oh, that they were already the can. can yeah. Where does God say that? Well, it's the promised land. For who? For, it's, you know, because they, they were, when they were, yeah, you know, when you they know were the freed. The Old, the Old Testament is your book. It's all in the Old Testament. So when they were freed from bondage, they were given land from the Nile to the Euphrates. It wasn't that the land of of Palestine was designated to them as their land. They took it by force. Everybody knows that you read the Old Testament. Yeah, they, so thank you, I appreciate that. Those who resisted. Yeah, so they, yeah. they took that by force. Like the Canaanites and the Philistines. Now coming back to the, the King David Hotel, so there you have somebody who's trying to establish a country that they are annoyed because the, the, the people running the country are not allowing their people back in, which is a sort of problem. And they, but these were not hippies dancing. But, but this was not an idea to massacre all of the English because they weren't Muslim. It's just entirely different. I think the idea was perpetuated at the time because in the, you can realise they're entirely different, or won't you back down on that either? So, what's the exact point? The, an attack on the King David Hotel is in no way similar to the attempted genocide by thousands on Jews. Well, the reason I'm, I'm looking at the historical context well, so in, in which can I can I make my point at least? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the, you the, keep the, about historical context. So the historical I'm context was that at that time. Because they wanted British into, they wanted the British out, so they could continue with their brutality of what they were enacting. So because the, so so killing killing the British officials. Ten percent of ours with a boat don't have to wear ridiculous costumes. Women can drive. Ridiculous costumes. It is a ridiculous costume. No, no. The women. The women can drive. They, the women can be educated, they are, but people can hold official positions. Okay, let me say something to you. So what happened in any other country. Okay, so let's look what's happening here. Women and, and over certainly Jews aren't around okay. those positions. Okay, women over here, are women dominating in society over here? In matrimonial affairs, women are dominating. Men are now subjugated. 
Why do we have organisations such as Families Need Fathers, Fathers for Justice? When we have these issues where women now are in positions of dominance, if a divorce happens, what happens commonly? She goes away with everything. The, the estate, the children, the men are left to beg. That is when you, when you, because by a... This the, is the flux, nothing to do with a current argument. No, but I've listened to that because you made the point about women. Uh, the Gazans do not want to kill it. Gazans want their land back. You said that the Jews wanted to get rid of the Arabs in Israel. 1948. They, they did not. They never have. They've allowed them there. They've allowed them on the road. But, They've allowed them to run. They allowed them to run net levels until they started to cause problems, and they had to be governed again. But the country already had that belong so because the Arabs were. In the Arab world. But the Arabs were promised the land by the British at the Balfour Declaration. There was no understanding that it would be a creation of a state of Israel. So the British were two timing everybody. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we all know that. But the point being at, at the same but juncture. Again, not relevant. There is because the the Sykes well, PK. I don't know. I think your mind is not clear, sir. I've, I've, well, give me an opportunity to explain. The Sykes. Are you aware? Explaining by taking the argument somewhere else. I'm, not, I'm looking not at the historical you context. Need an incisive argument. There are people. There's a cult within Gaza that wants to kill every Jew on the planet. I, I, I don't believe that. Oh well, I do believe. It. I don't. So there we there we have an insurmountable thing. Yes. I am saying because the evidence for me. No, the evidence for me is that prior to nine, the second, First World War, 1917, there was no conflict between the um, Arabs and the Jews. That's evidence for me. But Lebanon was a because, wonderful because country with many, many different religions and, and a great culture until they let the Palestinians in. Then they wrecked the entire country. Well, I mean, that's just open to conjecture, no, 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 isn't it? No, 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 no. I mean, what's the evidence that they wrecked the country? Oh, do, do read some history, educate yourself. Please. I know I'm being rude there, but please educate yourself in some proper history away from all the... Can you give me some sources, some citation, some scholarly academic research into this? Well, it shouldn't be difficult. You're an intelligent man. You can find oh, I'm it. Just, I'm just learning. You can recognise propaganda when you see it. Well, it depends how you see it, that propaganda. I mean, anyway, um, I mean, I can tell you as, as Muslims, we want peace with everyone. However, what our sub summary task is that there should be justice and fairness to everyone, yes. not just not just for certain people. Yeah, British justice, right? to everyone. And not I Islamic and, and, justice, and, and, because there is no Islamic justice. I think that's a bit unfair to say that. Look, do you accept during the you during want to the, during impose a system of law which is alien to our culture? So, what is our culture? Can you define our culture? Well, well, yeah, define our culture, please. I'd yeah, like to hear yeah, that. You, you know how this is developed in common law. Okay, what is the culture? Give me an example. What is our culture which is alien to the Islamic narrative? Well, we have we have a, a system of democracy which we, we rather like here. Okay, so what does that entail in terms of day-to-day -day living which is counter to the Islamic narrative? Because the, the Islamic people want to come about. So what, the, what would that involve? Caliphate in, doesn't involve elections, does it? it involve, of course it doesn't. It doesn't involve women voting, does it? What it does involve is the regimented... I, I hope it's something that Muhammad, bless him, he, he wanted women to have power. Yes, no. What, what, but what, he, was, he, had to, he had to recant on that and rewrite bits of the Quran no, he, because no. the people around him wouldn't accept No, no, it. because he actually fought against them because they were the same pagans who were trying to, when the daughters were being born, they were being buried alive. So he took a stance against that and yeah. he sacrificed everything for that. Yeah, he, everything. He, he's, very, uh, he's very positive things about it. Yeah. And there but, yes. are also, unfortunately, some very negative those things. Those negative about things. About the culture with which he fought. No, no. Th those negative things were supposedly derived once he gained some sort of power when he migrated to Medina. But what that was, essentially speaking, it's a common, it's a common um, polemic against his uh, post Meccan period where he was persecuted and subjugated. He then went forward to, um, uh, to uh, Medina where he was able to um, co come within a communi community. People understood his fairness and his um, equitable manner. They chose him as a leader and then the Muslims resettled simply because they were being subjugated. So when they resettled, he made affiliations, he made um, uh, friendships with many people. But these pagan Arabs, 250 miles south in, in Mecca, they were still after his guts. So what did they used to do? They used to still try to Entice, to in invoke him in war, stop his caravans, to murder his followers. So in the end, even as it's seen in the Old Testament, in, for example, when Jeremiah used to fight battles, Moses used to fight battles, the Islamic order was to given to fight those who fight you. Fight those, this is a common misnomer given in Surah 9 of the Quran, which states... So, so when I say I don't like the, the, the cultish 
uh, body in, in, in Gaza that wants to kill all the Jews on the planet. Yeah, is this mean, mean I'm opposing Islam? Yes, it would be opposing because it's like... wants to kill me. So that's what I didn't quite say. That racket came in the back. Say that once. What I didn't quite hear. Say that again. Can you run that by you again? Yes, please. Because that no, that music powered it at right yeah, the moment. You don't yeah. focus on this. I'm saying that no, but there, there was a there massive was a cult, like. There was a cult in Hamas in Gaza which wants to kill all the Jews on the planet. Can we agree with that? No, I, I, I don't. It's in there. It's in their charter. Okay, where does it say in their charter? Said once we once we can have peace, we can regroup and we can start again. It's in their speech. Okay, can you show it to me? I, I haven't. Well, you, you I've read their charter. Do, I've read their charter. I don't see anywhere which co which well, asks. They've changed the charter, but, but so you, they've you changed said, it now. You said they, they have changed the charter. You but no, you but said to major, me initially. The major speakers, the major speakers in charge of Hamas, have said they intend to eliminate all the Jews on the planet. And they'll probably start on the Christians after that because they believe that's what. Matters. If that is true, if that is that, if that, if what you are saying is true, then I'll be totally it. opposed. You just have to go and find it. But, but, but you won't just... find it on the Arab supporters. Okay, but if you, you can bring. Recognise when there's propaganda. Okay, so if I can see the Hamas Charter, which states that we are after the annihilation of the Jewish people worldwide, I will go against Hamas. Oh well, that's fine. We can agree. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> our good friend who I think was a vociferous supporter of Israel, as you can imagine. So, you know, this made several points to him. Nobody is saying the Hamash, as far as I'm aware, which calls for the killing of every single Jew on the face of the earth. That's nonsense. We, read a bit, we spoke a little about the historical context, and, you know, we look at the state of the Palestinian people going back now for three generations. They've been suffering and being tortured. Everybody accepts it. It's not, no wonder the world supports them. People can see what is happening. People know the historical context in which they've suffered for um, such a long period of time. You know, people are not, in the, in the age of learning and in the, in, the, in the age of technology, in the age of information, people are aware worldwide what is going on. So for him to come up and state that this is an action perpetuated by Hamas or by Gazans, it's just a complete fallacy. And this propaganda taking place, it's not propaganda, it's visual images we're seeing of the destruction of the inhabitants. 40,000 people have been killed. This place, and this has been going on for a very, very long time in terms of the mass, um, if you want, an extermination of the Palestinian people. So this is not, this is, this is simple sour grapes on this part. I think the world is realizing that this Zionist movement is just seeking to implode, you know, and whatever they want, that is what will happen. So may Allah help our brothers and sisters in Palestine. May we, be, may we have the strength to help them in whichever way and every possibility that we can, because this is going to be a test for us as well, you see. What did we do when watching these incidents take place? We're cozy in our own homes, we're eating, we're drinking, we're going to restaurants, we're having nice food. Are we really even Muslims? That is what I'd question myself. You know, what are we doing for the sake of Allah? We need to wake up because this could come to us one day. The crescendo against Islam is building up here in the UK, just as it did in Yugoslavia 30 years ago in Kosovo. That's in roughly about the same time period. So this is up for us to reflect. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.